Hello and welcome to Shelf Centered. This is Bryce. I've been meaning to do this video for some time and hey, why not now? So uh, this is my Malazan tier list, just the main set of books. I'm almost done with the Esselmont books and so maybe I'll do one adding those in or something like that. I just hadn't done a tier list. Tier lists are the thing that the cool kids are doing these days, right? We'll do Malazan tier list and see how it goes. Yes, I picked this shirt because this is this has got to be a shirt that Krupp would wear, right? Like, <laughs> I could see Krupp in this shirt. I don't know why it worked for me. All right, here is my list here starting, uh, and, and you can see where I've got my tiers. Uh, I <laughs> can't claim full credit. I found this uh, tier list on the internet and decided to just use one that was already kind of created. It had all the nice, all the, the books there for me. Um, I only reused a couple of the uh, tiers that were already there, so, but I, I just felt like they were too perfect to, I couldn't mess with it. Uh, Elder God, clearly an S tier type thing, uh, uh, type level, and then Ascendant, clearly an A, A tier anyway. Um, so anyway, I figured I'd go with that. Uh, Elder Gods being essentially an ascendant, but with a following and, you know, more frills. So uh, anyway, uh, I then did uh, Krupp as my third one down because he's kind of a love him or hate him. I am on the love him. I think he's great, uh, but kind of just like, anyway. In the middle there, uh, you can be on either side though. So we'll get we'll get anyway. What that means is as we define the books themselves. Um, then uh, Book Arala, I thought was one. They're always a nuisance, uh, unless you need them, right? But they're mostly a nuisance in the books, and I just find that I just thought it would be funny to have a tier name that. Uh, and then Caller, uh, if you've read, then you know I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. But I know how difficult that is. Uh, when you're trying to just give reasons for what you're tearing anything. So there's your kind of mild spoiler warning, I guess. I won't get into too many spoilers. Uh, but anyway, uh, those are that is my list here and my, my tiers that I'm going with. All right, so starting out right off the bat, I think we're going to use the Krupp. Uh, this one is Gardens of the Moon, number one, book number one. I think it's it's largely uh, known as kind of the the least well written. It's it's the first. It's uh, a, a lot of people have difficulty in with it and, and kind of give up right away right there. I find Gardens is especially on reread one of my favorites. I still really enjoy it, and I, it's hard. <laughs> I'm starting really low, and we might have to reassess things. But uh, and I'll, as I'll explain probably later in the video, uh, this is more my um, you know Malazan is is on its own tier. If I if I compared them to any other book series, it would it wouldn't even be fair, or it wouldn't even be a good video because they would all be on the S tier level uh, compared to anything else. And so this is just Malazan compared to Malazan. All right, next I'm going. Deadhouse Gates, especially on reread, uh, I just went right there. Elder God, it's so good, it's so amazing. Uh, I, you just you feel like you're in the desert. You've got some great uh, Quick Ben action. You've got Callum Mekar. You've got so many great things going on, and the whole whirlwind, everything. It's just and and then the ending, the Chain of Dogs. It's just it's crazy. So. That one definitely going with Elder God on a reread. I, on my first read, I would not have put it there, which is crazy. I know this is known as pretty much everyone's favorite book of the series, uh, if not Memories of Ice. Those two I hear a lot. And on reread, I can definitely say that. On first read, I probably would have had it down maybe a book or all or something like that. It just was not my... Uh, favorite, I, and I don't know. I think <laughs> the more I've thought about it, especially on my reread, I almost think that he did such a good job of of portraying the desert that I just didn't like this feeling of just just death and 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 I know it's the book of the fallen, but just of 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 being parched and having sand everywhere. And we all know what people think about sand, right? All right, memories of ice. Let's see here. So uh, that one again, even uh, even on reread, survive reread, and that was the same actually. For some reason, maybe it was maybe it was just this crew of people that I liked following. 
um, has more quick bend and all that. And so, uh, but Memories Vice, I mean, just this one, it killed me and made me understand what, I don't know, true emotion is. I don't know, maybe not, but it's, oh gosh, this one gutted me. I was devastated. I still am slightly devastated by it, and I've now read it twice and knew, knew what I was going into on the second time. Um, what an insane thing. From that to just having Segula and probably the most amount of Segula in any book, they're just, I instantly fell in love with these guys. And if you've seen my other videos, you know why. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're just nuts. I love the system they have. All right. Um, okay. We're going to go with, okay, House of Chains. Let's see. I think I'm going, putting House of Chains and Bokarala. I, this is one I struggled with. I even like Karsa Orlong. I like him, and I didn't hate, you know, being in, you know, especially knowing on the second time, but you're a good, what is it, quarter of the book is simply one, following one character, which these books don't do. I mean, but that's Erickson for you. It's, I, <laughs> here's the setup. We're going to do it this way. Okay, now we're going to do it a different way. Now we're going to do it a whole different way. Now you get a whole new batch of characters. He doesn't do things the way that you're expecting in fantasy, and, I, and that's part of why I love the, the series. But House of Chains was just rough uh, because there, there's Karsa, and I liked, you know, he's good, and, and following him is great and all, but uh, the other characters in this one, I just I struggle with more, um, more focused on on Felicin. and I, I like as on a reread Felicin, I man I struggled with her the first time, but really rereading it, it's it's so well done. I, I just how well done this character is is it's amazing to me, um, and it's spot on. How I mean, her someone in her situation with her personality, of course, would function. I just. It just, it's a hard one to, and maybe that's part of why I keep struggling sometimes with some of these is because they, they make it hard. They make it hard to really go all in and, and root for a real person, right? And I, I think that's the thing is Erickson really just gives you real people in this. And it is the book of the fallen. Aren't we all fallen, right? Um, so uh, anyway, that's one. I, it just, I struggled with definitely um, at uh, at first. All right, Midnight Tides. I've been debating to, uh, oh man, that one's a hard one because I might put it at Ascendant, but it's it's toe on the line and more because I don't want, I've already put two in Elder God and I, I don't know if that's really a good enough reason to put it in Ascendant. I love this book, not only because it's got a character with my name in it, with Bryce Bedict and it's got Tail and Bug, just some of the best comedic characters just ever written. I'm, sorry, I'm saying it here. You heard it here first. It, it's so crazy. I, 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 there's so much to Midnight Tides, and it, again, it takes you to a whole different place, a whole different set of characters. You get one character that you've ever fought, like even met before, and it's only briefly in, in, in another book. Um, but it's, I it just, I, I like this one a lot, and ah, it's hard not to put it. I'm going to keep it at Ascendant. I, I go back and forth, and I, <laughs> I lovingly say any Malazan I'm currently reading is my favorite, and so that one becomes my favorite when I'm reading it. Um, but I think just in retrospect and putting it up here, I'm going to put it there. I think that's fair enough. All right. Uh, Bone Hunters. Bone Hunters, I just argued that it was the best Malazan, so I can't very well not put it in Elder God, right? Uh, I, that one is definitely one of the best. It's so insane. There's so much to it, and it almost it's like two books with two Malazan climaxes together, which just is like, there's so much going on, and you've got from Igatan to then the ending, and I don't want to go too much into that, but the Igatan itself, and um, just the craziness, uh, the bone hunters actually forming and and becoming this thing, and then uh, I, I just I can't get enough of it. That one just has so many pages per book. It's like the I know it's like twelve hundred pages in the mass market paperback, but it's like so many page so many pages of action and like and payoff to a lot of things that it's just so much fun to read. And anyway, that's going there. 
maybe purely just for my enjoyment uh, factor. All right, Reaper's Gale. Um, we're going, I think, all the way down. This one I struggled with, and I've only read it the one time. That's my next one up, um, and I've been kind of daunted in, in rereading it. In, in rereading it. Um, I, I struggled with it. This one, it's, it's a long one, and there uh, weren't a lot of characters that I really um, extremely enjoyed following. There's some, I mean, the, 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 the people that you're, you're used to, but yeah, this one I... I I definitely for Miles and Books struggled for compared to anything else it's still excellent and one of the best I know that seems like it doesn't make sense it makes sense to me and that's all that matters right um, so uh, the, it just I, I'm excited to reread it again and I probably will reassess but this is one that I, I definitely struggled with the most um, and I know Mike from Mike's book reviews can relate all right. Um, next one is we're going Toll the Hounds. Toll the Hounds, I'm going down here. Um, I, uh, it's hard. Yeah, I think that's fair. That one, again, I also, it wasn't, I need to reread it, definitely. But being told, this is a little minor spoiler, but told from Croup, I uh, almost need to put it in Croup. That's why I hesitated. Um, but... I it just I struggled with it in a couple different ways. Just that because it's croup telling it, you kind of get this long-winded way of telling the story, and so and I get it. So that's where I'm going. Okay, I know. Go, I think going into it and having read it before, I might appreciate it um, all that much more. The ending is insane. It's one of the best endings though, and so that's why it definitely pulls it up from Caller. But. Uh, uh, anyway, but I, I still struggled with that one a little bit. Um, Dust of Dreams. Gosh, where are we going to put that one? Uh, let's see here. Dust of Dreams. Man, I don't... That one's a hard one. I'm going to go with here, right here. We're going to go with Croup. Um, it was more between Croup and Bocarella. I, I also, again, for Mal... It's got, like, really cool aspects. It got, it's got a lot of Kachin Chimal and and those guys which are just awesome and then um but you've got like the snake it kind of gets like it, it's good in parts but it just is almost long-winded and a little windy and all that snake ish puns some more <laughs> sorry but it the dust of dreams is is it's a good setup and that's what it, and, and erickson lets you know i mean he's not hiding the ball here he's like look this is half a book and then the rest of the book is is completed in in uh um the crippled god so there it is um so dust of dreams yeah we're going there i think that's fair enough um all right then the final one crippled god i don't think it reaches my complete a tier but it definitely gets up there uh it's just a it's got a great ending it's a and one that I feel like I should have seen coming, but what can you see coming on your first read of Malazan? I feel like it's fair to say it's hard to, to really see a lot coming uh, given the way uh, and the setup and everything. So I'm going with that, with um, it being Ascendant. I just thought not only the, uh, the, the kind of climax of the book is great, but also the denouement. The, you know, ending it really well with a lot of characters. It doesn't resolve every single thing in the world. Uh, there's some other things that are resolved in the in the Esselmont books, which is why they're highly recommended. If you're if you fall in love with the whole series with the world, then you gotta read Esselmont because it's it just it, it fills in a lot of these gaps that you don't have here. So look at that. Even this diehard Malazan who puts Malazan above Lord of the Rings, if you can believe it. This is my tier list, and uh, I think I, I don't know. I said I might change things. I might. I said I might change things, but I think I'm. I think I'm kind of happy with this. I think this is fair enough. Uh, and I, I. I don't know. Let me know. What do you What do you guys think? Where Where did I get it wrong? Um, anyway, I'll I'll give a better <laughs> outro here. But I I think I'm feeling good about this. I think I'm feeling good that this is my list. We'll see. What do you think? All right, how did that go? Do you agree, disagree? What do you think? Uh, I think the main thing is that 
in a, in a mouths on tier list, you got to keep in mind that I am talking about, I mean, I put Malazan way up there. It's it's way up there. And so even the worst of Malazan is going to be better than 95% of all other fantasy books to me. So for me, I mean, you got to look at when I'm rating a lower tier Malazan book, I'm, I'm it's, it's really just Malazan compared to Malazan right here. Okay, that's all I did here in this tier list. Otherwise, they would have all just been at the very top uh, you know, beyond ascendant, and it just wouldn't be really a list at all. It doesn't, it wouldn't even make any sense. So, thought I'd make it fun and actually do just Malazan purely rated against Malazan. And I know I got it all wrong. So, <laughs> anyway, let me know what are your thoughts? Where do you rank them? What did I get wrong? I'll, as always, always willing to, to have a great discussion about especially Malazan and any other fantasy books you want to talk about. Any others that you can think of that I should tier list, I will try to do some more of these. I think they're fun. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you next time. <laughs> Bye.